Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, this is Uma Arctos, member number two of Astrolog. Your locked royal, your guy who finally sucked up the courage to animate on stream. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Hello, Emery, I see you in chat already. Uh, hi, I will be, this will be an After Effects learning stream for me, too. Nice. Hello, Moon Man. Welcome to you, too. Yeah, uh, admittedly, After Effects is not my personal animation software of choice. My, I tend to usually use a very, very expensive one called Toon Boom, but I do not have that <laughs> on my streaming computer yet. Uh, and they make it very difficult to transfer the license from one device to another, so I've been procrastinating on that. Oh, my voice audio is a bit low. Let me fix that. Uh, where is my sound mixer? Where is my sound mixer? There's no sound mixer. It's probably because I had to turn it down. No, I am like way up. Okay, let me do this the other way then. I'm just gonna turn the BGM down slightly. It seems like it's too low now. Oh my god. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> Everything went downhill after I went and uh, had blow everyone's ears out with Muse Dash yesterday. I don't know why the audio was so crazy yesterday, at least on my end. Hopefully this is better. But yeah, welcome in everybody. I've kind of admittedly already done the tedious part of piecing this all together in After Effects so I can just solely focus on the animation this stream. Thanks so much. Hopefully I can serve as a good animating experiment. Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing compare, re I guess, relatively simple stuff tonight. Just trying to make it a, a little easier to reach out of mine. There we go. So, like, I, I've already pieced everything together. Like, if you look at this little bottom chunk of the screen right here, like, all of this... This is all, everything's already parented together in a way that makes sense, and I have all of the, like, pivot points in the correct places, too. I hate doing that part, so I felt like that would have been very boring to watch on, sc on stream, and now I can just kind of get right into it, which is great. So I've got a composite of everything, the hardest, quote-unquote, yeah, layer hell. Oh, this is nothing. Like, if I open each of these, like, if I go into your lower arm, Locked first, going to your lower arm. There's like technically at least two layers in each of these, but at least I don't need to actually worry about like what's what because it's just the line art and the color art, and I shouldn't need to separate those for any reason. The only one that will be a little bit weird to figure out would be the eyes because inside each eye composite, I have drawings for both. Oh gosh, you can't tell because it's on a black layer. One sec. Ah! Go away. Uh, where's the composition settings? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't mean to do that. I hate, hate this stupid program. I'm very, I'm way too used to Toon Boom. But yeah, I have the drawings for like your eyes open. I have pupils. I've got your eyelashes. And then there's also a drawing for eyes closed. So I'll be able to make you blink. But before I even get close to doing that, I'm gonna go through and actually do like the core animation of the body. So what I would wanna start with with that is I have a chest layer and almost everything right now is just kind of parented all the way back to the chest layer. Everything except the legs and things connected to the legs because that makes it easier for me to keep the feet planted. But yeah, this is just gonna be like a simple like swaying back and forth kind of motion. Nothing like too, too crazy, I hope. <laughs> I don't know if this fellow is still watching, but I saw you followed me before stream JakeArt91. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. Okay, so yeah, let's just get right into it. That was the fun part where I get to play with all of these little things. Da, da, da. We want rotation. Position. And the other thing I really hate about After Effects 
is you get a lot of, or you have an easier time controlling the like eases on everything by separating these dimensions. And sometimes I'll just like forget to, and then I have to like go back and edit so much more than I need to. I'll be lurking. Yeah, feel free to pop in and out as you feel. There's no obviously no obligation to hang around. And I appreciate you just being here. Yeah, so I'll set the keyframes where I want them. Let's do the face position. Like, ooh. Little bit of a hip sway. I am not on the right layer. Why are you not locked? because I unlocked it earlier. Ha. But yeah, I hope everyone that is watching had a nice day. Nice first half of the week. Nice first day of February. That's what month it is. <laughs> so since this, this is just the chest layer, I shouldn't need to put any fancy deformers on this or anything. Once I get to like the more flowy parts, like the hair, skirt, tail. January came and went for real. Oh, ain't that the truth. So it looks very stiff right now, you can see. Actually, what frame rate am I running this at? I should... Ah, I keep making that same mistake. Composition settings. Ah, that's why I'm doing it at 60. If I want to do, eh, I guess it's fine to do it at 60. Usually I do it at 24. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be easier to control at 24. Sorry, no, no, no gamer frames. Too. Yeah, I actually uh, am fairly experienced with it. It's just I'm not. I wasn't sure if it was something I would ever particularly stream. I don't usually use After Effects. It's just the software I tend to use is. I don't have the license on my current computer, so I cannot do that. <laughs> excited to see it when it's finished. Yeah, I'm excited uh, to finish it. extend it still seems really fast get two seconds maybe Hmm. 
still seems a bit fast. No, I guess it's fine. For little puppet stuff like this, I like to try to keep the uh, like total time of the loop to a nice even amount of uh, time. It just makes it easier to figure out where the breakdowns and all of that should be once I get it in there. Appreciate the compliments, Liver. Thank you very much. in advance I seem to have hiccups suddenly so if you hear me struggling that's probably why <laughs> See how eases make all the difference? <laughs> Swing so cute. Oh, this is only just the start. Gotta put all of like the secondary motion on there and stuff like that. I didn't break this up into like a billion pieces for nothing, so. <sighs> and like with stuff like this, like this is not terribly dissimilar from like like the way I broke all of this up is pretty similar to how stuff like live 2D rigs, VTuber rigs would be broken up. So I'm wondering if in the future maybe I should like buy a license for that and maybe do stuff like that. But for now that's just a consideration. I don't want to dump money on new software if I'm not committed to it. Committed to it, you know? And then, okay. You could probably just work from the bottom up then. Legs. So it's the left leg. And you can see I have the pivot point for the legs on the ground. Instead of parenting, parenting them to the uh, chest like everything else, this way I can just move the legs separately. Is there a way to skew on here? 
I always forget how skewing works in After Effects. Deformers and After Effects make me very frustrated, so bear with me as I try to play with things. works going well for you. As usual, don't feel obligated to chat and focus on what you need to work on. I appreciate the view, though. Yeah, this should be fine. For our purposes. Actually, if I, if I put one at the ankle, how will that look? A little below the ankle. there for now. I can always delete it later. Yeah, that's probably fine then. So let's start with the base of this. Got my keyframes in there. Selection tool. Probably go back and tweak all the eases for stuff if need be later. Okay, so I could probably just adjust. 
just this. Make it squish down a little bit less. Let's try 95%. just to make it render a little faster. It's getting somewhere. Looks like she could be a TV character in a gotcha game. Oh, wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> not do that. Okay, so as this one comes down, I'll bring it over just a little bit. Uh. 
paste. longer than I intend to, for better or worse. Sort of for better, in the sense that I'm using my time well, but worse because it means I'm not sleeping as much as I wish I was. <laughs> so I'm very tired. I've, uh, over the weekend I purchased a small journal, a small just college rule journal, and I've decided I'm gonna, little by little, try to get better at learning Japanese because I really really want to get better at learning the language and every method I've tried so far has only like marginally gotten me places and I'm not really anywhere where I feel particularly comfortable you know just speaking it like I'll be completely transparent like the Japanese Pokemon like streams that I've done are actually like I'm probably gonna end up privating those in the future just because I'm not totally pleased with how they've ended up Fun challenge, it's just, I don't know. My gut doesn't feel great about them. But anyway, it, I just kind of have the drive to, you know, keep learning. And I have a friend who actually, she teaches, uh, she teaches English to Japanese students in Hokkaido. But like her ultimate goal when it comes to teaching is to teach Japanese to English speakers. So, She's been helping me out, and I really, really appreciate all of her help that she's given me. Like, I didn't, like, explicitly ask for her help or anything like that. But she still, like, proofreads all of my stuff. Like, I'll, I'll post a screenshot. Or not really a screenshot, a photo of a page to, like, an account that only, like, her and a few of my other friends follow. And, well, I don't, I never ask for her to respond, but whenever, like, she has a moment, she, she's been, you know, giving me corrections and all, what, I, what I've been, the system that I have is every night before I go to bed, I'll write down, you know, a whole passage, maybe about how my day went, something that's on my mind, stuff like that, just really mundane kind of statements. And then I'll post them or share them with whoever. And then if I receive, like, any sort of corrections on them, I will rewrite the passage on the next page before I write the next passage for the next day. So, for example, before I go to bed tonight, I will rewrite my passage from yesterday with, like, the corrections I was given, and then I will write a new passage just about whatever. Japanese is not the easiest language I believe in, yeah? Yeah. Like, it's not particularly, I, I don't want to say it's been difficult, it's just I don't recognize all of the patterns yet, is what's going on. You know, if that makes sense. Because, like, I can definitely recognize the pattern, it's just I need to actually re remember how to piece that pattern together. Good luck, thank you. Yeah, I, I would like to within the next two years, take a trip over there. And if that does happen, I don't want to be like a totally helpless, you know, foreigner, stupid Kai guy, you know. <laughs> Hard to put aside time to learn, I'm sure, yeah. Like the only time I really have is right before bed, but you know, I, st I already stream kind of late just because this is like the only available time for me most of the time, but you know, just, g just got to keep at it. Like the, some of the biggest problem I had with learning it is just that I simply don't have any place where I can really like immerse myself to like consistently use the language in a way that's truly helpful. Like, I, like, I do spend time in, like, Japanese streamers, like, chat rooms and all of that, all of that. But even then, that only goes so far because I kind of just end up learning, like, 
some slang terms. Like, I know what I, I know what Haishin is, but that's not really going to help me on a daily basis, you know? <laughs> I can say Taskaru, and I mean that's sort of helpful, but not really. Yeah, stuff like that. Got a long way to go. it's so much more difficult. The issue that I'm having right now in After Effects is I can't separate the position dimension of the little peg piece that I put down on her upper leg earlier. And because of that, I can't as easily control like the X, Y of it. So like the upper leg is kind of slowing down right here, and then the body is getting ahead of where the legs are, so the motion doesn't flow as smoothly. I don't, I don't, and I can't separate them for some reason. I just send it to position pin. Great. Okay, that just broke everything, so let's not do that. <laughs>
Thank you, let me separate you. It's like because they're not separated, I can't go in and like edit the uh, pivots for them either. Ah, oh, that's annoying. I hate After Effects, guys. I hate it. time making things other parts of it look prettier before I do a second pass on everything. Okay, this I think we just need to do the rotation on this. This is the base. Set the little bow movement with everything else. Let's see how that looks. maybe yeah other side.
paste. Yeah, that's cute. Nice. Just need rotation. There we go. to adjust the upper legs later because those are still choppy but the lower legs looking nice and cute with a little bow movement aha i'm a genius okay next working my way up i guess i'll do the skirt next Plenty more where that kind of motion came from. the skirt with the uh, extra ribbons. One second, gonna take a quick sip of water. <sighs> Reminder to hydrate. Water's good. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna try pre-composing the skirt then. See if that helps me. on it should nice the lower ribbons now move with the skirt I'm wondering if I should do it more like a triangle yeah let's see how that out. Okay, so that's 
worry less about those transform elements and more about the pins on the skirt. The pin one, don't need to have it closed off. Pin two, as long as currently selected. This should be interesting because much like the legs, it doesn't seem like I'll be able to separate dimensions. Let me see if the other pin types will let me do that. Position pin? No, it doesn't. That stinks. <laughs> oh well, okay. We'll make do. Okay. Position right on the key. Let's key that back up. Get in the back in the back. skirt. So drag you back a little bit. Man, when it comes to like hand drawing, like flowy waving kind of stuff, like skirts, hair, flags, like things blowing in the wind, like I love doing hand drawn animation for it. It just feels pleasing once it all comes together. Or like the way snakes or worms move. I like that kind of stuff, like wiggling things, those are fun to animate to me. But when it comes to trying to do the same kind of thing with deformers, it just doesn't feel the same. Okay, so this isn't being kept up long enough. A lot of trial and error going on right now, that's for sure. Let's 
do a rotation on that top peg, see if that helps a bit. Oh yeah, that does help a tiny bit. Let's do a take number two on uh, these upper ones. That doesn't seem right. Don't know why, but it reminds me of a Higurashi Mei character. Why does that name sound familiar? I should know this. I feel silly for not knowing. <laughs> She might be. Get rid of those. Bring you here. Copy. Paste. Oop. Paste. Okay, now it essentially looks reversed, which is fine. Temporarily extend the length of this. Actually, no, I want it to be like a whole second longer. So two, one, two, up to three. Aha, there you are. 
This should give me easy keyframe manipulation. Let's just cut this down. seem right. fighting for my life with this pin right now. <laughs>
do the rotation here. Oh yeah, it's all come together. Well, I'm trying. See, I forgot to, uh... Hmm. No, I wouldn't be able to do that anyway. I was like, I forgot to pre-compose the, uh, underlay of the skirt with the rest of the skirt, but I remember that won't work, uh, the way I wish it would in After Effects. The, uh, Z-spacing of everything. I mean, I can set things to be 3D objects, but it doesn't quite work like that with composites. At least to my knowledge, my very, very basic knowledge of After Effects. So that means I have to do it all by hand. Bummer. <laughs> that doesn't look terrible. Hey Ray, welcome in, welcome in to you and all of your raiders. Cactus Oasis, thank you for the follow. Wow, thank you everybody. I appreciate it very much. I hope you're all having a good night, Ray. I hope uh, you had a good uh, rest of your stream. How many more cars memes did we come up with? <laughs> Fox Vox, thank you as well for the follow. Just having a real chill time in here. Just trying to relearn everything about After Effects. Animating? Yeah. I'm currently animating a good friend of mine and fellow VTuber, Hiragi Emudi. Uh, I think she streams mostly on YouTube, but she does have a Twitch account. Uh, she's very sweet. She's someone who's been supporting me and my friend Orion since before our debuts. So feel free to check her out sometime. She's also very, very sweet. Does a lot of, like... As you can tell by her design, cute, cute stuff. Big Kirby fan. <laughs> I think she's been playing 13 Sentinels recently. I think that's the game. Yeah, she's very sweet. She plays violin too? It's either that or viola. I forget. <laughs> Emery, if you're still in chat, feel free to correct me. I forget which it is. <laughs> So yeah, it's just sort of a gift slash practice on my end. So yeah, welcome in everybody. Hope you all had a good first half of your week. Good Wednesday.
good time zone for whichever it is. Take another sip of water. This is your hydration check. Good water. And yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Uma Arctos. I am part of the currently VTuber duo Astrolog. Uh, member number two of the group, two of two. Uh, sleepy royal space king from the great uh, Ursa Major. Su uh, succeeded by, or I guess superseded, whichever is first, by my good old bestie Orion, who's also very cool. Thank you for the stream, Uma. It looks great. Well, thank you for tuning in, Sliver. I hope work is going fine for you. Currently fighting for my life against the uh, puppet pin deformers and After Effects. I hate <laughs> animating in After Effects. My usual animation software of choice is Toon Boom, Har Toon Boom Harmony, which is, at least by Western standards, considered the like uh, golden standard software for animation. But... Thank you, one more hour. Good luck, you've got this. But the license for Harmony is very, very difficult to transfer from one computer to another. So I haven't gone through the process of transferring it onto my current computer. And I think I would have to pay to do it because the last time I, I, I haven't upgraded my support license in the last year. So I don't think I can like, I wouldn't be able to upgrade the software on my current computer that it's on. Which is dumb. So I haven't upgraded my computer's OS because it would break the software. So I don't think I'd be able to get away with transferring the license either. Which is stupid. But hey, corporate, am I right? <laughs> Fantastic software. Worth every penny if you use it frequently. But my god, do they make it a pain to do anything with. but I gotta eat. I'll check in later. Hey, enjoy your meal. I hope it's a good one. Feel free to pop in or out as you please. And if you don't see me later, have a good night. Thank you for the raid.
position, position. Cool. Ah, no, go back. There you go. that way. Still not right. Okay, let's try this again from the top. Oh, that's so difficult. This is why I always hand draw this type of stuff. It just works so much easier than trying to fight deformers.
bit. A little bit better. After all, never mind, unless animation hard, I don't recommend it. <laughs> down there and my head kind of reels from it. Yeah. <laughs> That's also kind of part of why I don't like After Effects usually is because I, the timeline system is kind of not very pretty. rather learn the CSP timeline. Man, I've never animated in Clip Studio before, but I'm sure it's a lot more tolerable than this. Like, granted, After Effects is fantastic, fantastic if you're doing stuff like motion graphics or like heavy duty masking alongside video and stuff like that. Because I, I've also done like some pretty simple like sizzle reel kind of things like that before. It's very useful and there's like not really an equivalent to After Effects in that regard, but when it comes to like just animation, there's better options out there, I feel. And like, don't get me wrong, there are like whole productions that are animated in After Effects or at least use it a decent amount. Like I'm pretty sure if you're familiar with um, What's the show? Archer. That's a pretty popular show. That's animated in After Effects. You'd never guess it. You'd think it'd be like, I don't know, Flash or even Toon Boom, but no, that's After Effects. Yeah, for real. Copy. 
paste right here. You go A. You three. Copy the one. Copy. Why do you keep doing this? Copy you. Why aren't you pasting? Go away. There we go. Sixteen. Sixteen. So that worked better. Ah, it's so close. trying so hard to keep like just the correct volume on the skirt so it doesn't look like it's getting any longer or shorter It's like I can picture it in my head how it's supposed to move. It's just getting it down onto the software that doesn't seem to be working for me.
happening here? Sort of seeing what the issue is. Maybe not. <laughs> Think you figure it out, and then it's all wrong. issue was the way that I was having things rotate was making it look like like the uh, left side of her skirt was leading the motion and that's not what we want. We want it to look like the skirt is kind of like secondary to the motion so we don't want you know this part looking like it's ahead of everything else. We want kind of like the waist motion to look like it's the first thing moving if that makes sense. We're getting somewhere now. Now I'm feeling it. Now I'm feeling it. Mr. Krabs. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm content with that for now. Okay. Except now we have to go through the little struggle of now that these little ribbons are like pre-composited with the skirt. I have to actually animate those inside of the skirt composite, which means I cannot view the motion, Emery's like full puppet motion at the same time, unless I can somehow put two composite windows side to side. I don't know if I can make an extra one. guessing game here, which is annoying. So if someone <laughs> is in chat that knows how to actually show like this side by side with this, please let me know. I'm not going to Google that on stream. But I only need to worry about the rotation anyway. Starting off just something simple like this gets us. Actually, I think it'd be more like there. There. Oh no, don't tell me that. No, the pins are missing. Ah, oh, that sucks. 
So we've encountered a new problem that I didn't expect. And it's that the deformers on the skirt are now, are now messing with the uh, ribbon swing. Oh, that sucks. sucks. Unless I like do the whole starch thing. I don't know how that works that well though. Let's see. I don't want to have to like go through the whole process of tweaking the skirt again. Is nothing easy. Starch pin. Oh, that's so ugly. Why must I suffer? Oh, there we go. That, did that fix it? If I do expansion... What? Oh, ah. Ten. No, let's do... Twenty? Never mind! I think we're... About figured it out. Thirty. Hey, okay, that's a lot better. Fixed it. Aha, I'm so smart. <laughs> I'm sure most people who actually know how to like in depth use After Effects are like, this guy's an idiot. Which, I mean, what about it? <laughs> we all start somewhere. I say it all the time. Other ribbon. Turn off the graph mode. Do the rotation. And rotate. Rotato. Okay. 
don't need you to be doing that. Go away. Hey, you're still going? Yep. Welcome back, sliver of note. Y'all done with work? If so, good job today. If not, I'm sorry corporate is holding you uh, against your will and you deserve a raise. <laughs> uh, velocity, that's what we want. Make sure that ribbon doesn't crunch. And we're good. Excellent. Gotta go. Thank you for the stream. I appreciate it and good luck. Yeah, thank you for stopping by once again. Really appreciate it. Okay. So aside from the little cat, I wonder if there's a way I can... Doesn't look like I can. Power, got power through the last hour, so I have to concentrate. Yeah, go concentrate. That's important. Holler, holler, get dollar, as they say. Get that bread. Okay, yeah, now I have to figure out how to get this little cat friend to stay really pinned in place on the skirt. Unless, let's see, am I able to copy here and paste it in here? Aha! We'll hide this one. I just want to see how this looks. Hopefully it doesn't warp too much. It kind of does. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I think that's fine, though. You can have a little, uh, jelly physics cat. That's fine. this oh at least the overlay the cat's having a fun time yeah <laughs> just woo. got as much boing in that cat as and like, very exaggerated in certain in, in certain ways anime girl a lot of stuttering in there but you know what i meant This little skirt, this shorter part. So that is frill, hip frill, yes. I'm gonna follow a sort of similar logic here. Let's get my advance pins. want this to stay pinned to like these corners of the little like waist area right here so I wouldn't be able to get away with just rotating it see that's what would happen so in order to do that I'm going to pin it at these corners and then pin it on the outer most points of it that way I can have better control of the way that it flows if I could just One, two, 
be? Four. All right, four pins down. Don't need to worry about the first two since those are stationary. And get my keys in. a little tweaking. One thing that does also kind of stink about After Effects is like every time you like tweak something you have to like kind of wait for it to re-render properly before like you can go through each uh, little playthrough of it. At least this little frilly part is shorter, so it doesn't really need to swing as much to be very effective, which is nice. Nice break from the skirt. <laughs> I think the only like other really troublesome parts will probably be the uh, back of the hair and the tail. That and making the eyes blink. I'll probably put one more pin in like the center of all of this just to give it a little more side to side so it doesn't look so stiff there.
rotation. Check again. Probably also on pin two. Yeah. Let's give it a little bit of rotation. solves that problem. Ha, I love when I can cheat with my art. so much better. Haha. -ha! Yeah, I'm fine with that. Right. So that takes care of all of the overlay stuff with the skirt. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Next, I'll do the bow on the chest. Keep working my way up. Probably also do the tail. Let's do the tail first. The tail may also be a little tricky. First, I'll worry about the rotation on the, on the tail. Don't need to worry about the scale or position at all. tool. Go up. Then go down. Actually, no, I want to pre-compose this with the, uh, ribbon on it. That's right. That's right. Precompose. Tail. 
comp. Okay. Okie dokie. Open that up. Actually, don't open it up yet. What am I doing? Place our pivot point correctly. Down even farther then. Oh wait, that's why. Pivot it to the to the chest. There we go. Still not down far enough. Oh yeah, it's coming together. Okay, next, let's get deformers on this tail. For each significant bend should do. Oh, my hiccups are back. I'm sorry. <laughs> At least they're quiet hiccups. So pins three and four. Probably gonna be the biggest culprits here.
Yeah, that other bend is gonna be tricky, huh? Unbent. <laughs> Scaling it up really doesn't do anything. for at least the very end of the tail. Try one more time with that upper bend. Let's do this. Not that, this. that way. Rotate 
this way. See how this plays out. Hmm, still not exactly how I want it. motion to it just isn't like cyclic I don't want to say cyclical like it doesn't go in like a nice round circle like it does until like I actually play it back it just doesn't seem right jitter in there. There are the same. Look at this graph. Man, what was that video from? That was a like I know I know it's Nickelback, like from the music video, but like wasn't that originally like a Vine? The look at this graph edit of it, or am I wrong? so TikTok could run.
it still does. I've just seen it in memes. Yeah, that's fair. Well, look at this graph. <laughs> yeah, rip vine. I never had a TikTok account. Don't plan on making a TikTok account. Never had a vine account. But man, if I don't love all of the reposts I see from, like, stupid video apps like that. TikTok specifically, like, every single post I see come out of it just kind of feels like... It feels like it was made in a simulation. Like, every single one feels like an AI that only vaguely knows what it's like to be human made it. <laughs> Not that I'm very good at being human. But, like, there is something off about every single post on Vine. Where is the jump coming from? I guess there's no jump and I'm just seeing things. that kind of like cracks me up every time I see it is like I don't know it's a guy who like takes like a sip of juice or something like that and then like the rest of the video after the fact is like just him editing a bunch of like different like millisecond shots of himself together to play like the doom theme and it's so funny it's so stupid but it's so funny. Everything I know about Vine is basically through the, uh, Twitter user claypot thread of reposts. Don't, don't people call it, like, Kermy or something? Because it's got, like, a Miss Piggy kind of voice or something to it. I've seen those. I've seen, like, where it's like, Maybe you get there for you. That one. I've seen, like, the Minecraft one where someone, like, made that dog in Minecraft and his, like, nose goes down, like, this entire, like, stupidly long, like, amount of blocks. <laughs> I've heard it singing though. I've only heard the Let me get it for you, that one. I think it's supposed to be like Miss Piggy covering a certain song. Huh.
Come with me. Hey, no, they're right there. Stay there. Please, thank you. Good. Not correct. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. doesn't need to flow perfectly because it is a tail and has like musculature for it. the crunchiness I can adjust that oh yeah that's fine see the error on your end. Oh, I keep getting an error. Why? You worked fine before. expansion on this one just kind of breaks it for some reason or at least it's breaking after effects <laughs> like it just causes like a blank screen to show up and I don't know what's wrong it's always something why are you doing this why 
are you doing this? If I turn the density, will that help? And that also... Why? Why? Okay, so it's like every time I try to adjust something with the uh, puppet deformers, it's just like the cache, my cache is just like dying. And I don't know why. Like I have this little property here that says expansion. That's what I adjusted on the skirt like ribbons in order to make those like not crunch in the same way this is doing right here. But every time I do this, see if I just pop it up one to four. This little green line, it's not refilling up and it's just not rendering anything. So I can't preview anything. If I try to, I get an error that you guys can't see on your end that says, After Effects error, cached preview needs two or more frames to play back. But because I don't have, like, my little green indicator, it's just not showing it. It's not pre-rendering anything for me. So I wonder what happens if I change my view to a third. Okay, that's not doing anything e either. Alright, so no matter what I do, it's just not... If you guys give me, like, two seconds, I'm gonna restart After Effects. Let me... Here's OBS. Let's see if just a reboot will fix this, because I don't know what else to do. Hide you for a moment. Safety save, just in case. Guys, isn't Adobe great? <laughs> love, I love it. I love the way the industry standard is so well put together and has nothing wrong with it. Okay. Open. Open it back up. Just did a quick reboot, so hopefully that'll fix things. Okay, so have a crunch. Okay, now it's doing some things that seem like it's correct. is doing little rendering, but very, very slowly. Let's kick this down to a third, maybe? Make it go by faster. Yeah, the lower quality I make it, the uh, faster it'll render, so. Okay, it's still doing it. Still crunching. We're, we're actually seeing motion now, so that's good. Cool. Okay. This seems to have fixed it. Am I able to watch it at full quality? Yes, slowly. Okay. We're back in business. Cool. Okay. Love it. We love it. Having a good time. Next, we'll do the underlay to the skirt. Which hopefully isn't as bad since it's like partially hidden under everything. It's 
let's just give you say three little deformers. One, two, three. Those are the wrong kind. Where's the advanced ones? One, two, three. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. But it's fixed now, so we continue continuing on. This one's at least hidden behind the skirt, so I just need to kind of keep it underneath there throughout. this. Yeah. Okay. Skirt underlay, done. Easy. So now I can focus on the upper body. For now. Cursor go. There it is. Yeah, okay.
<laughs> I'm so in the zone right now.
this is why naming our layers is important. Because when you have, how many layers do I have here? 50, 50 of them, all of which are very small pieces, most of which are very small pieces, they're gonna get lost. And you don't want them to get lost. That would be bad. So word to the wise, please name your layers, unless you have like three layers total, in which case, you do you. Gem. Why would you do that to me? And we are moving the bow kind of side to side in this way is so I can gradually add some uh, upper torso movement. Just add a little bit more dimension into this.
next would be to just skew, or I guess in this case, squish a little bit the little heart apron. Graph editor. Slowly coming to life, yeah, just bit by bit. I actually used to do similar stuff to this in like Flash or now known as Adobe Animate. And admittedly, I tried to use Flash again recently. And it's just, it never was a good program, but it still is not a good program. And it's kind of like mind boggling that people are able to use it well. Maybe it's just because at this point I'm too used to literally everything that's not Flash. So it just kind of pales in comparison. Like, geez. It's just not good. <laughs> uh, scale. One, two, three. Yeah. Perfect. Something about specifically the way selecting things works in Flash, it just makes me upset. I don't know how to describe it. Like, the way you select things in Toon Boom, which is, you know, arguably the closest alternative in terms of ways things are laid out and operate to Flash, the, the way things are selected, it's like you can select individual brush strokes and the pencil tool is phenomenal and flash just doesn't have that it's selection is just like you're selecting literally everything you can't isolate a specific stroke it's hard to explain but ugh, it's just something that bothers me like i would sooner probably animate in fire alpaca than in flash and a fire alpaca is not even in like not even an animation software it has some very primitive animation tools to it, but nothing, you know, really in depth. Like, uh, <laughs> Was that annoying to use? It's like, I'm sure it's great if it's like something that you are immensely used to, but I've gotten used to the debatably better software, so why would I advocate for using Flash, if that makes sense? Like, I know people who like, they've used Flash for years, so they are basically professionals of the program. But in comparison to other stuff, at least to me, I would sooner use everything else. I thought because a lot of people seem to use it that it wasn't that bad. Eh, it's, it's the whole, like, Adobe industry standard kind of argument. Like, everyone uses Photoshop. Photoshop's got a whole ton of issues. Why do you think artists make a fuss every time Clip Studio Paint goes on sale because it's not Photoshop, you know what I mean? Uh, where was it? This one. I mean, that's the problem when you have, like, 
one like major group basically dominating the industry. It's like they can make mistakes and get away with it essentially. hidden enough that I don't really need to adjust it at all. So let's worry about the other little cat. Do this.
And when it comes to After Effects, in comparison to, say, Harmony, and I guess Flash would have an upper hand in this regard, is uh, Toon, Boom, Toon Boom Harmony and Flash are both vector-based softwares. So, you know, you can scale up artwork really, really big and you won't lose the quality on it, essentially. Whereas, you know, with this, it's like, I can only zoom in so far before you start seeing, like, all the pixels. If this was vectored, I'd zoom in and you just see, like, a crisp line right here. But that is not the case. But that also doesn't matter for what we're doing tonight. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's a different flavor of animation you should be most comfortable with. Yeah. But I mean, like, they're even for, like, raster animation. Like, there's TV paint, which is, like, it gives you gorgeous results. I think if you're, if you're familiar with Gendy Tartakovsky, his show Primal, that was, I'm pretty sure that was animated in TV paint to show. God, I love Gundy's work. <laughs> based animation kind of like what I'm doing right here that's essentially what harmony was made for like you can make rigs that are basically 2.5d in it and it's kind of insane and heck even blender at this point which is free that has like 2d like capabilities now if I remember correctly the best tools to get great results. And I know that with a lot of this software, it's like the price point will lock you out. Or I know some people will find less than kosher meets, means to get their hands on certain software. 
And like even then, that can only get you so far sometimes. I feel very lucky in terms of my access to like Photoshop growing up um, because my Earth Dad, he had like, he did a lot of work with like graphic design kind of stuff. So we had a good number of CS3 software on our home computer. So it's like when I was like basically just getting into digital art, it's just like, well, other than paint, we have Photoshop and that just kind of opened up like a whole new world for me. Granted, don't get me wrong. This was back in the day before like every 13 year old was creating masterpieces and had every single tutorial under their wing. So back then, I didn't really know what a layer was or how everything worked. So I just kind of took the paint bucket, filled things in just like it was paint. <laughs> I was treating it like paint because I didn't know the capabilities that it had. So for a long time, it's just like trying to get where I could on my own. And here I am, drawing friends. Animating friends on the internet. It's a good life. Ah, no, stop. Stop. Admittedly, I would like to do more kind of stuff like this. As much as I complain about it, I do tend to enjoy how the end results look. Tate. Oh my gosh, it's past midnight already. I'm determined to finish this tonight, though. Sleep be damned. I would like to finish this. I promised myself I would.
that's not breaking off of the elbow. All right, that's fine enough. Respect the commitment. Eh, we're almost past the finish line. Granted, the head in itself kind of has <laughs> its own beast number of layers, but hopefully it won't be too bad. Maybe. always Uma. good night moon man thank you for tuning in as usual i really appreciate it get a good night's sleep and best of luck with whatever you're doing tomorrow right, that does take care of the body at least so on to the head Save, take some water. Where is the head? There we are. Position, rotation. That should really be all I need. Separate the position. Too much bounce.
made. elements next. The problem with the face elements is that I do want them all to kind of move together, which means it would probably be better for me to pre-compose them. But then when it comes to like all of the individual tweaks to the face, that's going to get a little bit harder to track time in the long run to make sure it all looks right. I guess there's no winning with this either way. I think I'll probably go with the pre-compose option. So let me unlock all of the layers and fault. Back, eyebrow, eyebrow, eye, eye, mole, mouth, blush, blush. That should be all of them. Let's see. Pre-compose. Call that face. Fine. Don't 
tail, you can close that. Safety save. Actually connect the mold to that blush since it's already right on it. Blush, we probably don't need to worry about that since it's kind of in the center of the face, therefore doesn't need to squish as much. The right blush, however, is right on the edge and we want to squish it so it doesn't go off the face. So key rotation, scale, and I guess position, just in case. Nice, 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 nice. Then, when it comes to the eyes, I want to try seeing how just squishing the outer eyelashes and not the whole eye will affect things because I do have the irises separated so that I can kind of move them individually. Lock you, lock you. I'll try on the left eye first. Just let's adjust this a little bit. like that. Removing the iris. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's uh, tweak the other eye.
Okay. Excellent. Okay. So let me just adjust the lid. Just the position of the eye. It is better if the eyelashes do overlap on the outside there. See if we can get her blinking. That's going to be a little bit tricky.
lid. This is probably going to involve masking. Which, well, whatever. closed one in between and then back to regular scale that seems about right Rotation, then two. Dun, 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 dun. So we'll hold keyframe. This way we'll be able to really keep the corners in place. Die then. Zero. Too difficult. Okay, let's try putting a mask on it then.
Stop. Enough. Thank you. And invert the mask. That looks in motion. Nice. You've got one blink down. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be. is in the right place then. Whew. Stretch my wrists really quick. That felt good. Okay, cool. Back to it. We're almost there. I know I've been saying it for a bit, but we're almost there. <laughs>
two. I think. Put the mask on the pupil then. plays. Actually pretty well. Okay, I, I can live with that. Good, by the way. <laughs> Highly recommend. So where's the little bang? go.
rotation. I guess. So left hair, left bang, left hair. Far enough. I should see how that looks. Okay. Hair position scale rotation. Getting places.
right side of the hair now. Right. And the right thing. Ugh, I need to crack my back so bad right now, I will not lie. It hurts. I can have like the stretch of a lifetime by the second this is over with. <laughs> so position. Okay, so the front of the head is done. Well, front of the hair, I guess, is more appropriate. Let's do the hat, I guess, would be next. Okay. 
rotation position, I guess, are the only ones I need. Looks like it's sliding around her head too much. Choco Milk Tea, welcome in, welcome in. Very late here, very deep into the process of animating this. All I really have left to do is the hat uh, and everything on the back of the head. So the hair, the little bow that's there, and some slight adjustments to that braid. I am slowly but surely falling asleep, but I am dedicated to finishing this tonight. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Yep, it's all tweened on ones in After Effects. A few little tweaks to things that are already in motion that I'll have to make, that's for sure, but... why. 
do this. Don't do this to me. Thank you. Actual hat layer. Hat top. Change the position a little bit more. Slides around way too much then. Let's fight off, I suppose. And then there's the little charms, the charms. Let's do that. MK, welcome in. Thank you so much. It's been a little bit of a test to myself trying to essentially relearn After Effects since it's been a bit since I've done anything, anything like this in it. But I'm pretty pleased with uh, what I've been doing. So I, I appreciate the kind words. Thank you very much. gone. Excellent. Okay, then let's do the bow on the back of the head. Save really quick. There we go. There is lower 
head bow, uh, position, and rotation. Separate dimensions on the position. Set all of the keys. without the eases. Pretty good. Let's put the eases in. No, I don't have the uh, pivot point in the right spot. Okay, uh, where are you? Let's look at these keyframes really quick. Make a point. There we go. And that should just leave the back of the hair. And then fixing the legs. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do the hair. The hair will be the last soup, I guess, moderately tricky thing. I have to use deformers on it. I can't just rotate and call it a day, I don't think. Let's 
start with the position and rotation. So those are the most given ones. Move this out a little bit. That is too much bounce. That is way too much bounce. Let's do take backsies on that for now. Focus more on rotation. I'll do the little braid. Braid, braid, there you are. Deformer time! My enemy, my enemy, the deformers. Key. 
squish a little more. Still too low, okay. Up. Let's see how this looks with eases. at all. I think I want to hold this a little bit longer to keep the drag. Yes, it will. Woohoo! I'm not even sure if I need to do that deformer that's under her then. It's hidden well enough. I 
say screw it. We'll leave it as is. Haha. <laughs> In that case, it's just time to leave, uh, adjust the legs. look a little bit better. Yeah, oh my gosh, just <laughs> removing those keyframes worked fine then. Nice, so I guess the After Effects stage of this is done. Nice, 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 nice. So all that's left for me to do, first I will save it. Collapse everything, just for peace of mind. Export it, and then kick it into Photoshop. Close you, close you, close you. Already got the layer with the filter on it. about Photoshop in the morning. So in that case, I'll just get a white background. Okay. Slap some text credits on it.
Is there a way I can easily add a stroke to this? Ah, there we go. Size. Stroke size doko. Sir? Stroke over fill, fill over stroke. Oh. Nice little watermark. Cool, cool. I think I'm calling this done then. Hooray, I can rest at last. I will just render this out and I will post it when it's done rendering. Nice, and I'll give Emerdy the high quality files <laughs> in the morning or once I am able to actually make those. It is 1.30 in the morning for me right now. <laughs> I gotta be up in less than seven hours. Jeez. Okay. Oh, with that, okay, I'm going to bed. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I will post this once it's done. I'll probably let it render while I'm brushing my teeth. Hello, Nos. Nos Tromo. <laughs> kind of an awkward time to pop in. I'm actually just ending. I just finished uh, animating here. I'll Hit play on it so you can watch the loop. Oh, but yeah, thank you for everyone for tuning in. I appreciate it. Um, everyone, please have a good night. Uh, if anyone cares to join tomorrow, I will be playing Hades, uh, one of my favorite games, tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I don't know how late I will go. Probably not as late as tonight. Sorry for everyone that is usually awake at <laughs> this time. Um... If you don't follow me on Twitter, I will be posting the final animation on Twitter. That is at Uma Arctos. It's just my name. Uh, feel free to follow. Or if you don't have a Twitter or don't care to use Twitter, totally don't blame you. The site is miserable. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Unite, everybody. I'm glad you could join me. Unite, everybody.